the outbreak of the French Revolution. In this module, you'll learn about the French Revolution that led to the end of monarchy in France. The French Revolution is a very important event in the history of France. It started on the 14th of July in 1789 and spread across many years, during which several radical changes took place in the political organization of France. There were many causes that led to the revolution in France. In 1774, when Louis XVI became the monarch, France was experiencing a major financial crisis. Continuous wars with Britain and the extravagant ways the French monarchy had put great strain on the state treasury. Despite its poor financial condition, France helped the American colonies to fight against Britain. This further added to the existing debt burden on France. Under such circumstances, Louis XVI increased the taxes in an attempt to meet the regular expenses of the state, such as maintaining the army and the court. Before the 18th century, the French society was divided into three sections or estates. The first and second estate consisted of the clergy and the nobility respectively, while the third estate consisted mainly of peasants. The first and second estates were exempted from paying taxes. The 18th century saw the emergence of the middle class within the third estate. This middle class included merchants, manufacturers and various professionals, such as lawyers and administrative officials. The middle class of the third estate were educated and believed in a society based on equal laws, freedom and opportunities for all, irrespective of their birth. Philosophers such as John Locke and Jean-Jacques Rousseau carried such ideas forward. In the 18th century, France also witnessed a rapid increase in population. This population growth led to an increase in the demand of food grains in France, thus leading to an increase in the price of bread. However, people who worked as labourers continued to get fixed wages, which were insufficient to keep pace with the rising prices. All these factors led to a subsistence crisis in France. In an attempt to impose new taxes on the 5th of May 1789, Louis XVI called a meeting of the Estates General, a political body comprising the representatives of the three estates in Versailles, to pass his proposal for new taxes. However, the meeting was not successful and the representatives of the third estate left the assembly. On the 20th of June 1789, the representatives of the Third Estate met at Versailles under the leadership of Mirabeau and Abbe Saez. Here they established the National Assembly that sought to draft a constitution for France and end the absolute rule of the monarch. While the National Assembly was busy at Versailles, the rest of France was struggling to survive. The price of bread rose and to exploit the situation, bakers hoarded supplies. At the same time, witnessing the growing unrest, the king commanded his troops to move into Paris. In response to this, people of France stormed and destroyed the fortress prison, Bastille, on the 14th of July, 1789. At the same time, rumours spread in the countryside that the lords of the manor ordered the destruction of ripe crops. Instigated by this rumour, peasants attacked Chateau, looted hoarded grain and burned the records of manorial Jews forcing many nobles to flee to neighbouring countries. This event is referred to as the Great Fear. In face of this turmoil, Louis XVI finally acknowledged the National Assembly and accepted to rule by a constitution. On the 4th of August 1789, the National Assembly abolished the feudal system of obligations and taxes. In 1791, the National Assembly completed the drafting of the constitution. According to the constitution of 1791, the powers which were earlier held by the monarch were now assigned to different institutions, legislature, executive and judiciary. France was thus made a constitutional monarchy. The constitution also provided certain fundamental rights, such as freedom of speech and equality before law, under the Declaration of Rights of Man and Citizen. Let's recall what you have learned. The French Revolution is a very important event in the history of France. It started on the 14th of July, 1789, and spread across many years. Before the 18th century, the French society was divided into three sections or estates. The first and second estate consisted of the clergy and the nobility, respectively, while the third estate consisted of peasants. The 18th century saw the emergence of the middle class within the third estate. 
In an attempt to impose new taxes, on the 5th of May 1789, Louis XVI called a meeting of the States General in Versailles. On the 20th of June 1789, the representatives of the Third Estate met at Versailles to establish the National Assembly. While the National Assembly was busy at Versailles, the King commanded his troops to move into Paris. In response to this, people of France stormed and destroyed the fortress prison Bastille on the 14th of July 1789. Louis XVI finally acknowledged the National Assembly and accepted to rule by a constitution which was drafted by 1791. The Constitution of 1791 declared France a constitutional monarchy.